Kiss one, two, three, four, five, six. Kiss one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay. Sorted. Sorted. Uh, so anyway guys, <laughs> my voice is probably going to be a bit strange for first timers and stuff like that. So, uh, at the moment, uh, we cannot do Fantasy Star Online 2 at the moment because I'm transferring my character to uh, Ship 4 at the moment. Uh, so that might take a little bit of time. However, we're going to now do a different game for now and how that's processing uh, which we are going to be playing a bit of Startopia Startopia Ok, that's kind of awkward Well, I don't want that much leaving. Yeah, just now just uh, no. oh. Okay, I think I've kind of destroyed it. Yes. It should be 
because it's full screen and if it doesn't work on auto capture it should full screen capture. Well, it's not even going to capture at all on full screen or auto capture. Mm, that's kind of annoying. I'm not changing the auto capture and the fill because I know they work. I would need to just do a display capture. A game capture on this game. Pacific window and start Tropia. That doesn't work, I'm gonna have to just do display capture and display capture the thing, which I might have to do. And do a display capture. Move it all the way down. You'll be fine. Great. Well, that's annoying because the only problem with that being is, is if the display capture isn't going to work. Okay, why is this not captured through the screen anyway? Probably explains why. 
This does not have the option for full screen, even though it is full screen, it does not have the, the option for it. So in a way it doesn't have We are controlling transition. I'm not really sure how I'm going to deal with this and how I'm going to fix this. Yeah, soon as I basically window mode back out again, display capture isn't gonna work, and I don't know if there's any other way I can do this. Other than window capture, probably might, but um, as I said, I'm not entirely sure if that will do anything either. Window. Don't know if I can actually capture. A window capture with this. Yeah, I don't know if I can do a window capture because it's not going to let me do that either. Don't know why. Don't
Penny Girl and I'm probably going to have to play something else because this is not going to work. Not one to capture. I can't see if uh, Francis does finish transferring, but as I said, I said was I was doing a schedule maintenance or something like that and I don't know when it'll be done no idea Sega Sega Like the only trouble I've got is I ended up paying twenty four pounds for the voice mode and then seven ninety nine and four for that. Just for a character transfer and I really don't want to end up paying it too much else. New character, hold on. Silver 2 is now... Wait, what? What? That makes sense because I'm actually locked in to the wrong Steam account to view this. Well. I actually would want uh, mm, Let's see if that was correct. Yes, it was, wow. Well. Shuffle whatever you're shoveling. I still can't my transfer and what the fuck are you playing it? Like I am playing on it but the only trouble is is that I have not played on it until the transfer is complete because it's currently transferring and stuff like that. 
So I is currently still trying to film, so I'm going to have to find something else to do. And how then? This. We'll find something in here to do. I'm sure. As I said, I was hoping to do Star Top here, but if it's not really kind of uh, going to display capture for us, then there's no way I can do anything about that. So I get Borderlands 1, one half a cat. See, Boss Simulator 18 as well, that's going to be updated next year, I think, in 2021, where uh, they're going to be bringing in double-deckers, and that's going to be so epic. I don't know this is going to end up being about, but let's see the store page before I install this.
100 years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the great desert. An expedition was sent. An ancient starship buried in the sand. Deep inside the ruin, rated everyone ten and up. In the first time, the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel, and the outer rim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. Because I've played Homeworld before, but it's been a long time since I've played it, so it's going to be a bit awkward, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have to play it again. Because I've been playing it for so long, I don't know if She's hmm. got a game that I probably might want to have a look at. Oh yeah, I don't get my plan, I need to install it at the moment, so it might take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time to install, but we'll get there, hopefully. Oh, that's what I should do in here. 
Oh, that should be so epic if I did that. Hold on. Uh, where is random click player? Do that. Just don't need to move. Ow! I saw that. Much obliged. Yes, keep the momentum going. Yeah, grab and smash. Yeah. Bullet punch! Hit it, no! Surprise! Why not? Why not? Yeah! No, so no one not to manage here. Oh, what? What did I get? What is that clip? I didn't think she was going to come with. Regardless, it's what the fast Well, come on, hand over Oh, she's got an achievement for that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can actually... Wait. Wait. That was off as well? That must have been that one. I'm just trying to turn off most of my replays that no, are music that. related.
Boy, time for. Did I just steal that ring? <laughs> Some J O N. Sit cats. <laughs> oh, my Lord. See that? Peggy, eighteen. Uh, what who stuff it was? <sighs> oh God, that's just gonna go bumpy. Oh my God! <laughs> Uh, not that far. Jack Harry, three says a And I actually did an echo this time, so that is at least something. Big Bard Boat says, What the fuck speed is that to take a fucking corner? <laughs> Troublesome J-O-N. Sit cats. <coughs> oh my lord. Oh, it dies. Most of it was. Oh god, that's just gonna go bumpy. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm 
I made it quite far. Wait, how far did you make it? Uh, not that far. Ow! I saw that. Much obliged. Yes! Keep the momentum going! Yeah! Grand Rush smash! Yeah! Bullet punch! Hit it! No! Surprise! Ah. Why not? Why not? Yeah! broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the US government weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorized for use due can't even see that Yeah, my special health and all it went up was of... They play my game in the minute too. Can see that? No, I'm still doing it actually. Yeah, that clip actually gave me oh, a bit of an effort. I was playing the World of Warships at the time. Hold on, let's actually turn that down a bit though. Oh, what? I did that again. These are all the clips that I've actually done in the last couple of years. <laughs> yeah, at the moment I was going to play Startopia, but uh, right now I'm waiting for a game to uh, download at the moment. So I'm just, we're just watching our previous clips. The other thing is, is you, you probably haven't kind of noticed yet, but I'm talking a bit weird. <laughs> Wait, actually. Yeah. 
I'm not going in there yet. I just want to kind of double check see if that's still actually working. Test one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, the other thing I've, I've actually purchased today is the voice mod. I uh, paid for the lifetime subscription one, so I don't have to ever pay for it again. It is a monthly subscription, but if you pay for the lifetime, you don't have to pay it all the time. Which is going to be fun. Yeah. At the moment I can't do Fantasy Star Online 2, at the moment I'm doing a character transfer to another server right now, uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time to do that. I'm going to put the game title in as well, just so you know what game we're playing. Uh, that's called the uh, Bingo Cat, uh, Bingo, it's either Bingo Cat or Bingo Chat. Uh, what it, I uh, bingo cat. So basically, uh, it's a Twitch thing basically, so anyone that kind of follows, it does interactions. Uh, also I can interact with myself and do this and make it wave. Or I can make it wave this way. Or if there's music going and it's got drums, I can actually do this for the drum, like it's playing drums. Uh, Swift Streamlabs Prime though. Along with the previous clips that you're seeing is Swift Streamlabs Prime. Well, I can put music on and I can show you what I mean, but it might be able to sync for you a little bit.
Ça a été pour eux, du décroche. But I'm the one who's controlling that. There's no way for that to actually automatically detect the music and the drums. I'm the one that's doing that. That's not the only things I can do with it. I did say that it's a Twitch reaction, so anyone that follows it does do certain reactions. Like, for follow it, it does do a wave. And also, it's got the Bitmoji chat that when people follow that comes up and if people subscribe on Twitch even though I'm not really kind of that bothered about Donation one doesn't seem to be working. But yeah, but I mean, I think. It's like most of all those perks only work on the Twitch side of things. I'm going to be done. We are going to be playing uh, this game. It's a game I've been wanting to play because it's done by Square Enix. But I don't own the game. Uh, my brother owns the game, so I've got access to most of his games on my Steam. So I can, that's how I play. Managed to play Quantum Break because uh, he's sharing his stuff through my account. Like, you can play most of my games, I would kind of guess, but <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be something you'll be wanting to do. Uh, it's just about uh, there, so we should be able to start this up. Uh, stop. I need to have a micro for this, so it switches that off. I think we should be able to play the game now, so at least that's fine. Let's see, let down. Let's see. I was going to play the old Startopia, there is going to be a new Startopia that I will be getting later on. Which is more updated and it looks more uh, thingy up than that. Uh, thanks for the 100 mana, I do appreciate that. Let's hope this captures my game. 
and that should be control supported as well, hopefully. They are probably be macro in some of my voices as well, because we're on the baby voice, on voice mod, and we can change it to the bricks, or genius. Hello, hello, testing one, two, three, hello there. Okay, this might be a bit awkward. Yeah, it's a black screen right now, I'm just sorting the capture. Why right, does it come up? Wait, right, full screen, thank you. Why should it come up as full screen? Are you going to capture? Window caps and a window.
Now uh, this is blooming all quick. This game isn't even showing up on the list for caption. Hopefully that doesn't mess up my display. The last time we ended up doing this is the whole entire display capture went from full screen to a wee small screen at the top right left. Are you kidding right now? It's gonna do that. Oh, hold on. Yep, it's going to do that. Streamlabs is doing this same nonsense again where only certain games are still getting captured properly. This is annoying. And desktop capture is not really going to help me much. not went to full screen mode. There it is. Thank you. Something that actually works. Finally. As I said, I've never played this before, so I don't know exactly what this is going to end up being like.
This is made by Everything Squiddy Everything that Mix. lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptid puzzle, and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. This is Command. Your hot squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot systems green across the board. This is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. <laughs> 12H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long-range lasers confirmed. <laughs> 11B, down. Our HO229 cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. Seven E down. One D down. Assuming captain's duty. Multiple surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted.
Activating short range attack gear. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. Better make sure he's actually. It may not be switched off, it might be overlapped. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no. God, I actually did that, I didn't want to do. Give me a sec. Here. There we go. The only thing is, is this kind of put me towards an a Windows mode every time I alt tab. So now the only problem is, is I don't know if I can alt tab back into Windows mode again. Dead next. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right, I'll work my way inside from the ground. I miss it. I'm gonna have to try and put myself in window mode again. Uh, I'm in full screen mode. But I cannot. Uh, old tap again. Uh, actually. It's 
Thanks. I don't know if it's going to get me thinking where I go next. Even though we got this time to go through here, so... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I've not played it before, I've just seen my brother play it. At one point, years ago. Oh wait, I can control his fire. Nice. It's gonna end up having this problem again where it's not gonna capture the screen for some odd reason. I'm not entirely sure why this is. And it 
it really bugs me all the time. Oh, that's convenient. This boy capture seems to be working properly for me. But it's whether or not it'll not freeze. I'll keep an eye on it anyway. What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is. <laughs> Yeah, the music is kind of epic. Even for Square the next game.
This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory. But now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. Just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. Of course, you know, Blake Chronicles. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. The two and the original, you know, Blake Chronicles that came out a while ago. It's on my Switch there, so I don't know if I can do capture my Switch right there. Because I've had to... Because my 4K monitor needs the display port cable now instead of an HDMI. Plus, I know I can use my main monitor to do it though. Chronicles 2 is actually not too bad as people think it is. It may have a completely different vibe to it, but it has got a good storyline to it.
Proof apparatus detected on enemies. Close range combat is advised. I know. Have a good shoot, what? the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they, I don't know, moved it somewhere? <laughs> Is that? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed.
There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like Command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? I wouldn't bet on that. Alert. High power jamming detected. No response from long range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. Is that target enemy detected?
ghost! Nine ass! Wait, did you say nine ass? No response to communications. I'm going after him. Launching gel and logic virus vaccines, then access the. Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut up! Just do what I say! To be. Just go. Me, you shut up too! <laughs> we. We're soldiers. We take pride in. our service. HO-229 Flight Unit, Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. Oh, the enemy's upper arm. 
Use your pod. Should be able to take it over. I told you to shut up! about bringing the battle to them <laughs> ought to be contact command request assistance no it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary oh great That <coughs> this is going to end well. The black box. It's ready. Right. Let's fight, folks. Requesting. Destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. Tubi, it was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. Don't we just start this fight the game if we're gonna die? So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. Now we can... 9S. Yeah? Thank you. For uploading my data to the bunker. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I see. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind.
5012 AD. The year mankind's glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end, when the world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars. The aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon, machine life forms, that all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth, seeking refuge on the moon. 5204 AD. Humanity launched its counterattack, deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. But after more than a dozen large-scale descents upon the enemy, we still haven't managed to repel the invaders. That is why you, the Yorha forces, exist. To break this stalemate, once and for all. You are our ultimate weapon, and you must put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind! Glory to mankind! Glory to mankind. That's good for the area code. so you can hear me, all right? Uh, adjust the settings until you can hear my voice. All right, are we good now? Okay, settings should all be good to go. Uh, hold on, your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec, we need to restore those. Wait, why would I want a self-destruct? I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? Wait, why do I need a okay, self-destruct? If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, wow. once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. Morning. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. I see. Oh, don't worry. We 9S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. Uh. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop <laughs> calling me ma'am. Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right. If you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, man. Er, to be. You 
You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface. Rendezvous with the Resistance and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. <laughs> the surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. The hangar's up ahead. Let's go. combat model like you to a recon job. If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right.
Target location acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. Hey, to me! Reminds me of that, like, Xenoblade. According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. Yeah, to me this looks like a, like the roads ended in some sort of a way. So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. You're... number two. Hmm? You know about 2B? Um, yes, well, the bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the android resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please, feel free to ask them anything you like. This bad. I don't see my YouTube channel being so distorted. Why is it set to auto? Thank you. 
This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetations claim most of it now. Seriously? Why would I want to do this? This is 2B. Nothing to report. Good to hear. Say, how's the weather on Earth today? Good? It's fine. Does that question have anything to do with our operation? Not really. I just figured it might feel nice to have some good weather. Feeling nice has no bearing on completing missions. <laughs> that is so like you, 2B. Anyway, talk to you later. Jamming caused by enemies in local vicinity. Data, huh? It's hard to get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Hopefully they deploy some new satellites soon. A general idea is good enough. <laughs> you don't let anything get in your way, do you?
Wendelam, trying to suppress the big dream, you know? This is the place that weapons trader was talking about. Uh-oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants, too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. Proposal. Eliminate enemies in vicinity and restore access point immediately.
Was that game first? How long have I been on for there? I'm going to have to change a couple of things, but only if this game is kind of playable. I know it's playable, but the only trouble is, is I'm trying to see if I can get my character transferred to the server 4. Because there's people that I want to play with and they've got a guild set up. Already. It's kind of funny that when this is the online what? Transferred yet? Just 
to fix your ink schedule maintenance so they're still doing maintenance on it. Like the good thing is, is we can play the thing just now so it's not exactly going to be that much of a problem. I don't want to cancel the scheduled maintenance because I don't have AC anymore so I don't know if they'll refund the AC back. So I would rather keep it that way. Emergency mission alert. Large scale deployment operation in progress. All arcs ops, report. Oh well, I'll actually log in and there's actually something going What are you up for? <laughs> I definitely get on that fight there. Damn! Las Vegas already. And without even registering the location first. Arx sure is something. Theoretically speaking, ether and photons are essentially the same. So Earthling should be able to use our teleportation tech too. I'm not sure the real world can keep up with your theories. Maybe with some time and effort, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> it definitely seemed like those mother core goons that showed up last time were using something similar though. It might be something their avatar arms can do, but it could just as easily be some new tech they're keeping hidden. The avatar arms might not even be the worst weapons they've got tucked away either. Yeah, I've got other ones. Now then, you, hiding over there, show yourself. Unless you're looking to get shot. How did you know I was here? I made sure to be sneaky. I could practically feel your eyes on me. Jeez, I thought I told you not to follow me. Do you ever listen? Same goes for you, Sierra. I bet you're in on this. Ugh. Look, I'm sorry for sneaking along like this, but 
I want to know what's going on here, okay? I want to see for myself. I want to figure out where and how I can use these powers of mine. <sighs> Nothing I say will change your mind, will it? Just stick close to us, all right? Sure. Our contact? No. That's... Everyone get down! Wait! That's no monster! Damn! A... Uh, person? They vanished! Looking for me? Excellent reflexes. Perhaps this will be worth my while after all. Why do you have to show up here and now of all places? You fiend! Phalag Ives! My, where's your decorum? I was merely drawn here by the extraordinary power I sensed among you. What more reason do I need than simply seeking a worthy opponent? Surely you understand what I mean, yes? How do you know them? Mother has told me all I need to know. She said they would make a most excellent opponent. You're with Mother then? Indeed. I am Felix Ives, Mother Core Disciple of Mars. Pleased to make your acquaintance. But if it means anything to you, I am not one of Mother's advocates. I merely enjoy having the freedom to battle Earth Guide as I see fit. More like the freedom to annihilate us. Is that why you're here, fiend? To wipe us out on Mother's orders? I have as little interest in Mother's aspirations as I do in yours. You are all free to do as you will, in my mind. My goal is simple. A very human desire, you see. I desire only to contend with the mighty. I thought I told you not to hold back. Do try not to die. Ha! 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 Emergency! Code! You! Do try not to die. You think this is enough to defeat me? Completed! Are they left or nothing? <laughs> Most excellent. Oh, how long has it been since I faced anyone who could hold their own against me? <laughs> Hang on now! She isn't even using ether as far as I can tell. This is all coming straight from inside her. Are you sure she's really an Earthling? If she is, I'm not sure I want to be anymore. <laughs> Same here. Goodness, where are your manners? I am not but an ordinary human, see? Humans are capable of far more than most are apt to give us credit for. I would say those who try silencing and obscuring that which they do not understand or benefit from are far more frightening than I. All of you, Earth Guide and Mother Core alike, squabble amongst each other, hidden away from ordinary people behind your barriers. 
It's quite dreadful, really. You should be proud of your abilities. Why hide them? Who else will show the world what humans are capable of if not us? What delectable reflexes! What? Bare hand? Now then! <laughs> <laughs> Superb dexterity! You have natural talent. What you lack is determination. That blade of yours was not swinging for the kill. Well, how about this then? I will give you one unobstructed swing. That should motivate you, shouldn't it? What? <laughs> Lose the attitude! <laughs> this is gonna hurt! Be my guest. No holding back now. With the right technique, you may very well end me here and now. End you? Me? Kill someone? Get back, Hitsugi! My, my, someone sure is overprotective. And here I was, simply hoping to make you all stronger. You are beginning to bore me. Seeing as I am not here at Mother's behest, perhaps it would be better for us to simply call it a day. This was all rather enjoyable, though. <laughs> Especially fighting you. You made an incredible opponent. I have a feeling you will never disappoint. I do hope we get the chance to face off one to one someday soon. Farewell then, my friends. Do be sure to remain alive until I can kill you myself. She took off? Or... More like... She spared us? Every reading I had on her vanished out of range in a flash! That was one heck of a jump! I think we're all just as perplexed. Yeah? Does her presence here mean our meeting has been compromised from the start? Hard to say. Mother Core doesn't seem to really have much control over that fiend. Still, we'd better hurry. It's this way. Follow me. What you lack is determination. That blade of yours was not swinging for the kill. Right. We're here. Wow! It's beautiful! And huge! Earth Guide must really be something if they can build all of this right beneath Las Vegas! The only way in is by entering the casino and taking multiple elevators down. Uh, you know. Try to flex off a other piece of that. <laughs> it would seem they aren't too keen on any 
anyone finding out where they're hiding. I hope you didn't get this locked in as well. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, you know? But there's no telling how effective any of it is, now that everything's part of the ether infrastructure. Yeah, I ended up getting voice mod this morning, uh, the full lifetime one, so I can use it as much as I want without having to pay monthly. <laughs> you keep some lively company, Anga. Hey, I told you that much up front, and you told me to bring them anyway. Remember, my prince? I huh? wasn't complaining. I like things better this way. Now what is it? This is gonna really bother me. I'm gonna need to check something. Okay, so I was using the spray capture, that's weird. this again see if it works yep there we go hasn't anger told you we of earth guide have been coordinating in secret with arcs for some time now I've heard plenty about you as a result. Tales of your strength, your virtue, and your kindness as well. The fact that you have, by chance, come across dimensions and through the vastness of space to our planet is quite significant to us here. Oh, right. You're not actually from the world of PSO2, but from somewhere in outer space in another dimension, huh? Like an alien, I guess? Or maybe an extraterrestrial? No. Or like, what's the word for someone who's from a different dimension? Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Guess it does. We got caught up in so much stuff and... You're so easy to talk with that I guess it never really hit home how bizarre this all is. Oh. Can I say it? Hold on. Yeah, my boss just been dumb. Uh, I wouldn't worry about getting timed out because I've not really kind of set it, so it's like crazy. If it was a time out thing then it's only for like five seconds. You'd definitely send the heads of anyone on Earth who studies extraterrestrial life spinning, that's for sure. <laughs> Moving on. You may have already guessed why I brought you here. But allow me to explain the current situation Earth finds itself in. I believe Arx has also come to recognize Mother Core's increased activity here. 
They've intensified their attacks against us to the point where every one of our divisions has been hit. We're in quite the predicament. We've mostly just been making faces at each other up till now. But they've gone straight from zero to max and are trying to crush us these days. I don't know if they just finally got their act together or if they're rushing things for some other reason. But either way, we're in deep. But, like, what is Mother Core even trying to do? What did they get out of eliminating Earth Guide? So I have less, like, chins. Uh, touch part yet. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's change that. With us taken out of the picture, there will be no force left on Earth to stop them from world domination. But it does not stop there. Given that they currently control the ether infrastructure, in all honesty, they have essentially achieved as much already. And what role would using PSO2 to infiltrate Oracle have in taking over the Earth? It just doesn't add up. They certainly have an interest in Ark's world, at the very least. How does that make you feel, O oh, Dimwit, former Mother Corps sister of mine? Can you say one sentence without it sounding like it's coming out of your butt? Jeez! <laughs> uh, but yeah, what is Mother after? Hmm, it's been forever since I joined the Corps. And the only reason they gave for recruiting me was that I had what it takes. Had what it takes to get into PSO2, the ability to control ether. So is Mother just rounding up folks with the right ether compatibilities? And those expected to show progress. Ether abilities work the same as any other skill. Practice and comprehension beget progress. Mm -hmm. Okay, call them at some point. Wait, you can practice to get better at this stuff? Like making weapons out of ether? To put it more simply, the more you improve your ether compatibility, the more you can do with ether. General people without any ether affinity can access Oracle via PSO2 controlling their created avatars remotely and enjoy the experience as a game. However, PSO2 is not merely a game. Underneath, the application serves as a means to bring Mother closer to Oracle. Therefore, as the general populace enjoy the game, they're inadvertently collecting information on ARCs and then feeding all of this data back to Mother. PSO2 possesses another purpose, however. It also works as a means of screening for individuals with a higher ether affinity. To explain affinity in simple terms, an individual at affinity level 1 can dive into PSO2. That is, they can assimilate their generated PSO2 avatar and then they can take control of it, just as if their avatar 
were their own body. It would seem that Mother seeks out individuals with this level of ether affinity to join Mother Core. Once their affinity increases enough, they reach level 2. At this level, individuals can dive without the need for an avatar, transporting their actual bodies to the other side. It doesn't stop there. They also gain the ability to give form to ether to create avatar arms. Which, based on these classifications, would put both Anga and Hitsugi at level 2 already. The center of Mother Core is made up of people at this level. All of them working to strengthen its grip on our world. And they use that influence however they please to advance their personal agendas, just like Haggith and Bator have. At the heart of Mother Core are seven with even more noteworthy abilities. Known as disciples, they act as Mother's most trusted aides. Being chosen as a disciple means favor and influence in society and is a thing of prodigious significance. I see. Well, Mother invited Cory and I at level one to join Mother Core. If she could surround herself with accomplished individuals, it's possible she thought it would be enough if the individual eventually reached level two. At any rate, I'm impressed Earth Guide was able to pick up on that. That is because we have the power to influence society as well. No joke. I don't know what it is you've done, but you're, like, titled. Isn't that right? Sir Adam? Since the formation of Mother Core, though. Care to elaborate? <laughs> it is generally referred to as magic. It is an unbroken legacy, passed Maybe down in secret since antiquity, and is a supernatural. Yeah, it's like. Oops. If you think of moving something, you can. If you want to, say, prep a talisman to set up camp, it takes its own prep, though. Earth Guide was not originally at odds with Mother Core. Long ago, it was an organization dedicated to gathering talented individuals to investigate and resolve phenomena the world over. Yeah, they recruited exorcists, wizards, shamans, and what have you. They called them Onmyoji in Japan. Those sorts of folks. Angels, demons, Oni, Yokai, anything supernatural. Dealing with them in secret was Earth Guide's purpose. Originally, these seemingly impossible phenomena occurred so seldom that Earth Guide alone could handle them. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. I didn't just to say it. <laughs> However, 12 years ago, conditions changed. When Aether was first discovered, and Eska began to spread, that's when Mother Core was first formed? Precisely. That was the turning point when phenomena became more regular, and the abilities of certain individuals began to surface. I was also one of those certain individuals. People such as your... Still, even on its own, Ether coalesces and takes shape in the form of collective fears of the popular consciousness. In other words, our avatar arms are the embodiment of individual imaginations, and phantasms are from collective fears? Yes. 
that assessment aligns adequately. Okay. Like, I can't even see his eye color, but it looks almost like he's got gold eyes. And now, Mother Core manipulates right, the phantasms, embodiments of fear that they are, and sets them upon us. In all likelihood, they aim to subjugate the Earth. From time immemorial, we have protected humanity from things not human. What we wrestle with now is no different. However, Mother Core's power far exceeds the ordinary. And so I turn to you. Will you, and Arx, lend us your aid? Will you do so, that we may defeat Mother and return the Earth to the way it ought to be? What the? An earthquake? No. That's... an explosion? That's Detecting an explosion? anomalous reaction from the ether, creating enclosures on Earth. They got here in a hurry. What's the plan, Adam? The time has come to demonstrate Earth Guide's dedication. I just like the yellowish gold eyes, but it's quite dark. We will join hands with Arx and oppose Mother. This shall be the staging ground for our struggle. We'll meet them head on, you mean? What a bunch of go-getters we are.
I've been wondering something. Las Vegas has been hit by several attacks, but why hasn't Mother attacked this place directly? Looking at the recent activity of Bator and the rest, they seem capable of bombing the underground. It's been surprising, scary. Guess you could say the one bad operator that went berserk in Tokyo was the exception. Probably why it was put under heavy regulation. Indeed. It seems as if Mother Core is shying away from actions that would directly negatively impact the Earth itself. Further, I suspect that even if they wanted to attack this location, they don't currently know its precise coordinates. So, rather than wreaking havoc on a large scale, it's more effective for them to cause some minor damage and lure us out. Of course, even if that's the case, I'd think trying to ambush us again and again would get a bit tedious. Maybe they'll run out of steam. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Nothing to do but fight it out, I suppose. 
Enga, I realize there's nothing I can say to dissuade you, but I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you to be careful. If you're gonna wave your pom-poms for me, at least put some heart into it. <laughs> I'm coming too. We're gonna be fighting people, you know. And unlike that time with Beethor, this dust up's gonna be the real thing. You gonna be able to fight knowing that? When the time comes, you gonna be able to take a person's life. Kill someone. I can handle it! I'll see every last one of the Mother Corps buried deep! Wow. Just lead a full charge and end this in one go. Ark, enough. Do not forget our objective here. Yeah, yeah, loud and clear. 120%. Still, this song and dance is getting old. Full and I would be 100% capable of handling it. Full is readying the next phase. Another thing you ought to know. Any other nits to pick while you're at it, you 70% geezer? <sighs> Mother sure is a worrywart. Eh, Lepless? So, like, if we had Felig blow all of them away at once, couldn't we just be done? Come on, let's just ask her! You'll be the one doing the asking? No, can't do. Your breathing and heart rate have increased. Nervous? Then, perfect. In the meantime, I leave things to you two until preparations are ready. Yeah, yeah! Why am I stuck working with tall, dark, and spooky here? Instead of full. Oh, come on! A surprise attack? Jerk! Look at what you did to that Maxwell! Don't you think that's like 40% sad? Sorry. What? Guess I wasn't raised well. Foul play, ambushes, traps. That's how I was brought up. No way. Every shot was deflected? Just charge off alone! Hey! 60% lady killer! You think you can just let your attention wander? You'll be 100% deadsies. Out of my way. If you know what's good for you. 
And I heard about you from Mother. Even for arcs, you're impressive. 200% deadly. And that is the reason <laughs> I, Dr. Oak Millar, am here to handle you. Come forth, Lapless Maxwell! My calculations are complete. This fight's 100% in the bag. Very well. Looks like a shooting play. Your Majesty, Code Duel. Yeah, once my special ability goes off, you should get two chance. Cory, I knew it. I'm so glad you're all right. Well, you look all right. What a relief! I guess you deceived the school too. Thanks. What? What are you doing here, though? Why were you with Mother Core? Stop. Well, details aren't important. I was worried. But I'm just glad you're okay. Stop. Stop talking like her! Cory? Itsugi. Just wait. I'll fix you. As soon as I can. I'm going to free you, Itsugi. You're just being manipulated. I must prepare. I'll save you. Mother explained everything. What are you talking about? I'm not being manipulated. It's all right, Itsugi. I just want to save you. You don't have to worry, Itsuki. After all, you saved me. I was all alone. And you... You saved me! Ah. Uh, can you trace that? You can create an avatar, Cory? But that sword, it looks so sinister. <laughs> you don't recognize Graham? Hmm, I thought you knew about Norse mythology. You must be being controlled. This is the power to help you. Power. I was given to save you. You were always helping me, always rescuing me. That's why this time I'm going to help you. I will liberate you. Mm. Your 
are just being deceived. Controlled. <laughs> and I... will be the one... to free you! I would not sort them. Calculating? Time for you to pay the piper! What? What the? Where'd it go? Never underestimate an hey. opponent. A true hey, scholar moves to expect the unexpected. Silence! No one asked you to save me. I am well aware. I'm not saving you. The time has come, is all. Simple as that. The time has come. We've got trouble. It's Itsuki. She's. She's. <laughs> Because I chose to be. I wanted to save you. And so by my own will, I have come. Wait, why is the hair all wrapped around the face? By your own will? Itsuki? Oh, Itsuki? Why are you with them? Why are you not here with me? What is it you want, Itsuki? <laughs> I... See, you can't answer me! I knew it! You're being manipulated! You are the one being controlled! No! I chose this! <laughs> All of this! Coming here, fighting, and this power! These were my decisions! And why do you hesitate so? I said it before. You're the one who leads the charge, never stalling. I'd be blind as soon as see you confused as this. You're not being tricked. Not confused. Cut me down. What? What's wrong? Don't hold back. That's what I truly want. For you... to cut me down! Yeah, this is gonna get moved. You're not Hitsuki. I can take your life without hesitation. After all, 
It's the only way to save you! To deliver you from this, I'll gladly kill you, Kitsugi! <laughs> what? Yeah, we took the food, my lord. Wow. <laughs> is weak indeed and I cut through it with ease not much longer now Itsuki I'll kill this pale imitation right now <laughs> be not afraid it's okay it'll all be over soon it'll only hurt a second You'll be back the way you are. Just get better. Mother will fix you. No. Stop, Cory. Don't come. Cause Hitsugi would never say that. Oh my God. You can go back to normal. Patience. Just a little longer. Sis, I'm coming to save you. Uh, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> something weird, cra something weird uh, crazy is gonna happen to you right now. Something epic. He's gonna, I think he's gonna do something really crazy. Sugi. Don't cry, sis. Don't be sad. You two saved me from the darkness. Do you remember that? That's why it's my turn to save you. I never, ever let you die. Oh, here we go. This power, these photons, is this it? It must be. This awakening is what I've waited for. How I've awaited this power of yours. Hitsugi! What the hell is going on? Sierra. What happened to her? I can't. This is... Her vitals are improving. Her wounds are completely healing. What? I can't believe it. Is 
this some kind of restoration? Is Al transferring photons to bring her back to life? Hey, Ophiel! I'm 100% sure this was never mentioned. There is no cause for worry, Oak. I was also unaware that was possible. Though I understand our purpose here now. Come on, sis. You're okay now. You're okay. Don't cry. Uh -uh. I'll capture the target. Let's move, Oak. Not happening! You ain't touching Al! Target acquired. Begin quarantine procedure. Uh -oh. This will keep them out. You're breaking the field? Very well. What? Unfortunate. But we've satisfied our secondary objective. Let's go. Stop right there! Now yeah, let's just go all Their quick. readings have disappeared! I can't pick up a response from Hitsugi either. No. God damn it! Hitsugi! It's okay! Sis. It's gonna be okay, sis. I'm here with you. You're gonna be okay. Uh -huh. That was great too. Thanks for that read. I do appreciate it. Sorry for the night but by the way. Uh, it's been a bit nuts right now. Uh, give me a sec. I hope you're kind of still there. Night anyway. Right, uh, I don't know what it is. Here we go. Sorted. How are you doing this afternoon? Uh, be right too. Yeah, just so you know, if you're kind of curious, I'm using a voice changer, a uh, voice mod. Oh, no way. There's no more episode four. We've done what we can just now.
I just have to start on episode 2 then. You guys give me a couple of minutes and I'll be back shortly. Okay. Which quest are you up for? Oh yeah, don't you know what we needed to do for this? Yeah, this is where we kind of left off and then we went to do episode 4 and then we're just going to do this until there's more episode 4. Don't know when there'll be more. I've not really actually been in here before.
Here! 
And once we do this, we'll be able to progress on chapter 2. I mean, episode 2 next. Your Majesty, call you. Yeah. Assault form, pulverizing charge. I am wounded, but I will yeah. still fight. Yeah. Now I will face you with my full power. This Iron Man and Aero way too much.
Say what? That was I picked up then. Well, that's a good item, kind of. It's almost like a sword type weapon.
Now we kick up this stuff, I will see you later, there's no point in that.
Okay, I just got the right Yeah, it's like sort of what the two species. Glad you didn't get this afternoon as well. Oh, hold on, something here that's not been here before. I think if I change it though, it's going to change back to that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just uh, changing a couple of wee things just now. I'm not going to change the... So what I change the colour though? I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Hold on a second. This uh, when I ended up getting. Yeah, picked a look at that one. <laughs> I 
that fit that cap being on that's what I started with and then there's that That's just a bit crazy. Mm, <laughs> I'm going to that. I'll go with that. <laughs> for now. Which quest are you up for? Now that I think about it, we've come a long way. And look! We're at the Dragon Altar! It's me! The two things you just said have no relation to one another. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Tia. I was explaining where we were and how I felt. It's an info sandwich. But, I gotta say, with the Dragon Altar being sacred to the Draconians, Perfect, uh, I didn't think Mama, we'd be able to get it. That. Yeah, even if we're here to deal with the Draconians under Fallspawn influence, it seems they trust us. This is thanks to you, you know. You're the reason the Draconians trust us. The only reason Arx is allowed here is because the Elder Draconians have accepted you. I think that's something worth being proud of. 
Though, it seems like the higher-ups in ARCs might be a bit dist... Well, that's one hell of a way to say thanks to the person who helped us form a bond with the Draconians. I think you're right, Hero. But we need to stay on our toes. All Draconians don't necessarily think the same. Or that's what that girl said. Now that's not me. She also said there might be some Draconians who are still hostile to Arcs. So, we can't be too careful. Though I gotta say, listening to her blab on about the Draconians for almost an hour was pretty unbearable. The only thing is, is episode 4 is now finished for me, but it's not going to continue just now. <sighs> oh, I finally found you! <sighs> you have entirely way too happen. much energy. Try thinking of the people trying to track you down, would you? No, wait. I didn't run all the way here just to only say that. There's somewhere you absolutely have to come with me. We'll meet up here at the Dragon Altar. I'll fill you in on the day we meet, okay? Right. Next stop is that way. Uh, how'd I end up with this job? Oh, make sure you come meet me. It's nothing bad, I promise. Yeah, so is bad. You made it. Okay, let's head out. It's this way. You want to know where we're going and who will be there? Oh, don't be a worry wart. <coughs> we'll find out when we get there. It'll be faster for you to see it for yourself. Plus, we don't have a lot of time. We gotta hurry. Just as I thought, fall spawn everywhere. I guess they're reacting to him. Or maybe that's why all those negotiations took place beforehand. They were expecting these kinds of attacks, so they wanted to make their move. I swear, what jerks. You want to know about who we're meeting? I said you'd see when we get there. I know that's not what you want to hear, though. Let's see... Well, they look like a kid. Real tiny. Their personality is jam-packed with things to annoy people. They're arrogant and self-righteous. They're cocky, even though they never really do anything themselves. All they do is give orders. Ugh, oh, just talking about this has me in a bad mood. Anyway, let's end the little chat here and get to where we're going, shall we? Right. We'll continue that one, uh, tomorrow, I think. I think I'm going to head off now. We did most of the episode 4, hopefully well, there's going to be more later, uh, within the next couple of weeks or months, I'm not entirely sure when the, the new episode 4 is going to come out. But anyway guys, I will catch you all tomorrow afternoon. Uh, as I said, you can get us on Discord 
on our Discord. We've actually got another Discord as well. Well, actually, I think it's tied to... Yeah, it's kind of tied to the Pokemon uh, Minecraft Discord anyway, so it's not really kind of ma gonna matter. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, and do that. Copy. Keep them there. And also uh, put that in there. Anyway, guys, as I said, I'll catch you all tomorrow afternoon for some more episode two. Uh, hopefully I'll sort the desktop capture so it's not using that and I'll catch you all tomorrow afternoon then.